What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can use previous versions in Windows 8 to recover data. Now if you've been hit with ransomware or any other type of uh, infection like that where you want to try to recover your data from if it's been encrypted then previous versions is a good way of doing that. Now the trouble is with Windows 8 and let me show you this um, if we go to right click on the start button here and go file explorer if we try to right click on this you'll see in properties here there is no previous versions and that's because file history has replaced the previous versions uh, in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 now although file history is pretty decent I mean if you want to use uh, previous versions there is a way around this and I'll show you how you can do that now first off so we want to go down to where it says search here on the charm bar so we're going to go up to search and we want to type in here sysdm.cpl and then you click on this here and this will open up our system properties okay now if you that is the shortcut method now if you want to go through the long way you can go to right click on the start button file explorer then you can right click on the uh, this PC go properties and then you'd have to go into system protect uh, properties here in system protection and that will be the same thing so once you get here uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go into configuration here and you want to make sure that you're turn on system protection okay and that's important because if that's not on then you're not going to be able to uh, recover data like that okay so that's very important so the next thing um, once you're here as I said at the moment we have not got anything here as you can see okay so the way we can enable that is click on the little computer sign here okay and then once you've done that we want to go back here and go backslash backslash and then we want to go local host and then what you want to do is you want to do another backslash here and then the drive that you want to look at now you'll see a C and a dollar sign here now that means uh, the C drive so if you wanted to do a D drive you would obviously change the C to a D okay and once you do this you push enter and uh, what that's going to do now is give you this option here so if we go into users and then the account that you want to look at and then now we can see this here if we right click on this now and go properties and look up the top here you can see previous versions is now enabled here okay but obviously you'd need the data uh, in here at the moment it's not been enabled uh, very long and this is on a virtual machine but you will see data here okay what you can recover and that's how you can um, enable the uh, previous versions inside Windows 8 okay so I hope this helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any uh, problems with your computers or you've got any video requests you can head over to my forums and post on there and that will be the best place you can get hold of me okay so thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video bye for now